So this activity is called inflatables and uh, we really like it. It's kind of a cross between 3D design and sculpture and playing with wind and playing with um, shapes and the big reason we like it is um, it, it teaches people a little bit about um, how to think in three dimensions. Um, and I'm going to show a couple examples of things that people have made. You can kind of see this. This is a little uh, ladybug shape. And it uses plastic and tape. A little bit of cardboard. So that's one. Here's another shape. It was made all out of recycled plastic bags. And it's a little elephant. Okay. And finally, the last one is a very interesting creature. So as you can see, it's an activity that has a whimsical aspect to it. it has a little bit of art and a little bit of science. Um, uh, you need plastic, and the plastic can be sheeting plastic. Um, you know, for drop cloths that you might get at the, at one of the, a hardware store. So that's a piece of sheeting plastic. You can also use just plastic bags. Um, we found some colored bags because that's pretty interesting. Here's some great big blue bags that we use. And then some cardboard, cardboard strips, and that'll make sense in a little bit. Tape, markers, and scissors. And so to get started, to get, to get an understanding of how this works, first we're going to have you make a, make a ball. And um, let's try to make a ball out of this plastic. So I'm going to take this sheet of plastic. I'm going to fold it over, lay it out flat. And then I'm going to draw a circle on this. And um, I guess I'm going to, sort of making a head. So I'll draw a circle. And your circle will most likely be rounder than my circle. And that's to give me a pattern so I can cut it out. And what I want to do is hold on to both sheets. And I'm going to cut the circle out of both, both sides of the plastic. So I have two pieces that are in pretty close to the same shape. And uh, with good sharp scissors, you can, you can slide your um, scissors along your line. And there, I have my two, two sides. Now the next part, this is where we construct it, um, is pretty interesting. It's actually a little bit like creating clothing. What we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, plastic tape, transparent tape, and all we're going to do is offset the um, top piece a little bit so we can get a piece of tape that will tape both sides together. It might tape to the back of the paper, that you, the surface you're working on, but that's okay because you're just going to peel it up. And then I'm just going to go in a circle and I'm not going to worry about making it perfect, about sticking the two sides together perfectly and filling every hole. Because a really um, one thing to, to remember is you're not making a balloon. This doesn't have to hold air and be sealed. We're going to use the fan to push air in it all the time. So I'm almost all the way around. Let's see how big my opening is. So it's still pretty big. So I'm going to close it up a little bit more. Because if it's too big, too much air will get out. So now it's about that big. That looks good. And I peel it up from the the work surface, and then I'm going to test it. We're going to see what happens um, when we get a little bit of air, because we might have to add more tape. Now when I hold this this way, you can actually see the circle. And I said I wanted to make a ball, but if I turn it sideways, you can see that, well, it's sort of a flat circle. It's, it's like a pillow. It's good enough for now. So next, I'm going to build it a little collar so I can hold it on to this, onto the fan in an easier way. And to, to get the idea of how big that circle is for the collar, I'm going to make it out of this strip of paper. I hold it open. I'm going to do a little guess and think to myself, oh, this looks pretty close to that size. 
I put the piece of tag board strip together, stake it a couple times, and then all I have to do is hold it in the opening, just like this, and staple right through my plastic. And just go around enough to hold it down. Again, you don't have to be perfect, you can adjust things. And if I take this, now I have this way of putting it on the fan and keeping it there. I'm going to test my collar. Now it seems more like a neck. All right, and the last thing I'll add to the collar are little hooks that'll hang on to the fan that I can put down in the grating. So I open up a, uh, open up a um, paper clip like this, like the little S, and I'm going to tape the big side inside the collar. And I'm going to tape it on two sides. So I have one hook there, and then I'm going to add another hook here. And this is a great way of being able to um, put it on the fan and leave it so that I can enjoy it or so I can look at how it's holding up and get back a little bit from it and not have to hold on to it. I'll open up those hooks. We'll see if I can get it on here. I can take it and hook it on the inside. Like that. And like that. And my inflatable stands on its own. So here's the shape. I'm going to draw where I think the eye should be, and it's facing me. So I'll put some big eyes on it. And I'm going to draw where I think the nose should be. I'm just going to draw a little line. The reason I'm going to draw a little line is because I'm going to poke a hole right through there. I'm going to cut that out. You poke a hole, or you can do this trick where you just cut from the side. Now I have a hole where the nose is. Oh no, so I need to build a nose. I have some blue plastic. I'll try that. Then you'll be able to see it better. I'm just going to cut off a strip, open it up, and then you do the same thing again. You get two pieces, and in this case, I'm going to take a section of this plastic, so I see how big it is, like that, and it's going to be a big nose. So I'm going to fold it over. draw the lines so I know what the shape is. There's my nose. Cut it out and on this one I don't have to go all the way around because I'm going to use the fold. Again I'm just going to tape the sides together because I'm going to make a whole shape. I can check it to see is it holding air the way I want it to. Yeah, it looks like the nose. And then again, I'm going to, on this particular case, I'm going to turn it inside out. And that might smooth the little ridges that I have a little bit more. Let's check that out. Yep, it looks more nose-like to me. All right. Now, to add the nose, we have to do a couple things. We've made the nose and tested it. So there's the nose. Now we want to put it inside. Um, we want to attach it to the face. If we just attach it onto the outside, I'll have to cut it so it sort of has these little legs that stick out across. But a trick that we can use is you can actually pull it up in, on the inside like this. To be able to tape it down, we have to turn the head inside out for a little bit. So we'll go like this. And I'm turning my whole shape inside out. Here's the back of the nose. I'm going to push most of the nose through the little hole I made. Then I'm going to tape it. There. And I want to tape it all the way around so that no part of the nose flies outside of that hole that we created for it. And I'm putting about five or six pieces of tape in. I'm going to pull it back out like this, and now you can see the nose is sort of dangling out of here. There's the eyes. Now let's see if it inflates. Now I have a strange, big-nosed portrait. 
inflatable. And next I could add uh, mouth, I can add lips. See, the nose might need some adjustment. And there you have it.